yo welcome back guys this is a first reader right here and today in this video uh, i'm going to show you something very interesting yeah if you trade cryptocurrency or you invest in cryptocurrency or you would like to do so i think this video is for you already know if you are new in this channel consider subscribing to this channel i drop videos on forex trading strategies forex trading guides Everything about financial markets ranging from cryptocurrency to forest trading to stock trading, indices trading and all that. So today is we are going to be looking at what the markets have been doing in the cryptocurrency space. Okay. Um, a lot of people, if you have been in cryptocurrency for a while, um, a lot of panics and people actually don't know what to do, uh, what the market is turning into or what is happening. And today is the uh, uh, first day of February. So um, everybody wants to know what how this month will look like, okay? Because uh, the previous months have been bearish, okay? The price have been uh, uh, bearish for so long, I think. Um, and I'll still show you why, okay? I'll still show you why. Um, we have such movement for a while. All right, so... Now you can see uh, the bullish movement started. It should be April. Yeah, the bullish movement started April first. Okay, 2020, 2020. Yeah, two years ago. Now uh, the price keep moving, 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 uh, getting to this particular point. Uh, that should be around. Uh, Okay, around eight, uh, March 1st, 2021, the, there was a kind of uh, change of trend, okay? The price BTC moved to 61,000, okay? That is uh, around uh, March 2021. So, why am I analyzing BTC? Why am I even talking to you about BTC and all that you already know if you have been in crypto space you should know that BTC controls more than 75% or even 80% of other cryptocurrencies other assets other coins so if BTC is bearish uh, probably uh, you will see red everywhere if uh, BTC is going bullish you will see other uh, currencies or cryptocurrencies pushing up okay so in summary uh, once you're able to dictate the direction of BTC, uh, the price, uh, that means you already uh, know where most of the coins will be going to or heading to. So that's why I start, you know, with this BTC for us to know if because some of us who have who have uh, bought some coin and it's, for, it's against us, the price is against us, might be thinking, this is a new month. Should I sell this coin now? Is this BTC going to drop more? Is it going to reverse and start going up? For those who have not a kind of uh, uh, had any assets at all who want to buy or invest, they might be asking, is it the right time to buy? And in this video, I'm going to show you uh, whether it's the right time to buy or you should sell the one you have. Or for those who trade crypto, whether it's the right time to buy or sell. Now, looking at our tec technically, we have uh, this. If you have been trading or you have been in my channel, you should know this pattern already. We have the double top right here. Okay, we have our resistance up here, and uh, the price is forming a uh, 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 M pattern, right? Okay, so we have the price tested a particular point one and two. So the price have tested a point one and two. So um, once you have this uh, forming an M pattern, you should know that we are selling. Okay, so that that was the reason why. Um, April, this, this should be April 1st the bearish movement started okay at this point at this region that should be around uh, from uh, 63 down to uh, closes at 48 46 then this one started that should be uh, May 2021 and you see this till this point June 1st 2021 so uh, June uh, the bearish movement ended and bullish started July 2021 till this point okay the bullish movement ended at 60 uh, around 68,000 okay 67 68,000 that should be uh, October 
2021 okay then after that november 2021 the bearish movement started which is what we are currently on because the price tested this level and this level and there was a uh, a pull uh, a kind of um, downtrend to correct this okay to complete the m pattern so but if you technically we are expecting the price to move down okay we are expecting the price to push push down in order to complete this double top okay now but there is something i want you to understand here okay I, there's something i want to let me do away with all this because we already we have kind of explained this uh sorry so at this point we already we have seen the overview of what the price is doing okay we have seen that the price is currently uh on a downtrend you can see that push uh, the price keep pushing down to the price have gotten to uh 33 i think 32 33 okay so which is last month january so this is a new month so each trader wants to know where is this price heading to are we seeing a, a continuous bearish movement down downtrend or is is it going to is there going to be a reversal people want to know where to buy where to sell and all that and that's exactly what i want to show you in this video now for us to know this we have already seen that um the price is going down now there's something you need to observe okay when you look at uh this you know that the price have tested a particular region which is uh a support region okay i believe you guys know what is support and resistance right so the price tested this region which is support region so it means that this support right here prevented this price last month which is uh um uh last month which is uh, uh january stop this price from breaking this support level okay so if this price breaks this support level we expect that the bearish movement continues okay but at this point there's this support which is holding the price from breaking below that means we are expecting a reversal right now but you have to go down to a lower time frame to see what is happening on a daily time frame and uh, uh, on uh, hourly time frame okay because looking at our monthly time frame there is a double top right here which push the resistance right there which push the price down from 68 or 67 down to 33 okay and at that level 33 that's uh, 33,000 that was when uh, this price encounter a support because this is a support all right they get that support and a kind of the price rejected this point and refused to break below uh 33 32 to 28 okay so now what are we looking at for is this price going to gather more momentum or energy to break this our support right here or is this a reversal so that's the question and how we are going to do it that's why i, I started from the beginning i want us to do this step by step you guys follow me we work together and we are going to determine or predict where this price will be going to okay now technically we have to go down to a lower time frame we have seen the overview of the trend so uh we already seen that the price have rejected the support level and uh, another candlestick opens and this is the new candlestick this month candlestick okay this is the new candlestick forming this month okay and today is the uh, first of february so uh, already the candlesticks have started forming we want to know how this month will look like is it going to be a more bearish movement or is it going to be a bullish movement? Remember, last month I tested the support and rejected it closes above the support level. Then another candle is open. That means we are already seeing a reversal. But we want to confirm this on a lower time frame, guys. Okay, so I have to scroll down to uh, daily time frame. Uh, one day. Let's see what's happening in one day. So looking at one day time frame, okay. You can see we have um, the price at support level here and it's pushing up so could this be a pullback that is the question one should be asking because looking at this you should see that this is a clear um, this is a clear downtrend from here you can see the price keep making a uh, swing uh, low swing high you can see this from here the price keep making this swing high swing low 
swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low. You can also call it impulsive move, pull back, impulsive move, pull back, impulsive move, pull back, impulsive move. So the price keeps making this movement downward. So as a trader, you want to know if this downtrend uh, uh, have ended. Are we expecting a bullish run now? Uh, because the price have dropped from 60 something to 33. Okay. And now currently the price at 38. So we want to know, are we going to be expecting a bullish movement or is the bearish uh, movement going to continue? That's the question. Okay. So now let's, let's see, uh, what is happening right now so you can see that at this point we had a hammer a hammer candlestick which is uh it, it when a hammer formed on a support is more powerful that's why this price is pushing up okay that's why this price is pushing up so that's number one signal we got as we got and the price is at a support okay and that's why you are seeing this pullback this that's why you are seeing this movement so we have not concluded yet whether it's a pullback because you can uh, you can actually see something like this movement then the next movement you are going to see, uh, uh, you see something like this. After this pullback, come here and breaks this support. And once it breaks this support, the bearish movement is going to be dangerous because we are going to enter another wave. Okay, the bearish movement will be massive. Okay, once the uh, the price be, uh, uh, was able to break this support level. Okay, but right now the price could not break the support level, as you can see. Sorry for that. Okay. The price uh, could not break it so we want to know if this price is going to break the above resistance and keep going up or it's going to break this support we want to know the one that is more stronger all right so uh, let me do away with this now what I need to do is that I will go down to a uh, four hour time frame to see if there is a strong resistance or support at any point so we already discovered a strong support down there so but if you look at this point here we can see that there are uh, uh, a kind of uh, uh, a resistance here. Our green, we already know this pattern, uh, this, this pattern here. So um, you know what it means. And this line here is a resistance. I've been talking about this. I know that most of you know, if you have been watching my video, you should know what is resistance, support, trend line, and all that. So, but basically resistance is just like a ceiling that prevents, or a region that pre prevents the price from breaking above or keep pushing up. Why support is a, a kind of floor, a floor downward that prevents the price from pushing uh, uh, further downward. Okay, uh, so currently the price is at resistance level. Okay, so if you look at this point, look at the first point, the price tested this resistance level, the first point tested this, the second point, and currently the third point. So the question is, is this price going to respect this line? Remember, the more the price tests a particular resistance point, the, um, the, the stronger the resistance point or region becomes. So if you look at this point, that uh, our resistance point from here, you can see that the price is currently at that point. Okay? The price is currently at that resistance point. So we want to know if this resistance is going to hold this price down. Okay? Now, looking at this resistance, you have... The price tested one, two, three. So, if you're a trader, if you trade crypto, we're expecting a, a bearish movement. Okay, we're expecting the price to drop and at least touch this our uh, uh, trend line, this diagonal line here. This is the trend line. So, we are expecting the price to move from here, from that point to this point. Okay, then gather momentum to break. Sorry. Then from there, the price may gather momentum and break above this. Okay? So if you're a trader, you're expected to be selling BTC by now. If you are trading, not investing, you should know the difference between trading and investing in, in, in any cryptocurrency. So now, uh, looking at uh, our analysis, we should see that we have a resistance already. And that's why BTC could not break uh, above uh, 80, 85. Uh, that is, uh, I'm sorry. 38,000 uh, all this while, okay? They have been ranging between uh, 34, 35, 36, 38, okay? For some days. But now this is a new month. You want to know the direction. So we are seeing a drop. There will be a little drop, okay? If you are trading, you should be a kind of you trade. I know basically if you trade, you trade in hours. 
uh, maybe in one hour, two hours, four hours, or minutes. Okay, so depending if you're a day trader or a scalper. Now, the what an investor, if you invest in crypto, you should be waiting for a breakout above the resistance. So now, as an investor, you have to wait for a breakout above this resistance. Okay, once this price breaks this resistance, and you see the price at level. Um, let's say level 39,000 once the price gets to 39,000 that is where you should start buying okay because it has successfully uh, uh, broken that resistance point okay once the price breaks let me change the color of that green to white okay so once the price breaks this our white Sorry. Break this our white line above. We are to start buying other coins. Uh, if you want to invest in BTC, you can. But I know people who actually know about crypto, they are looking for coins that are, uh, have potentials of making uh, 100x, 1000x, 2000x, and above. So um, looking at BTC, once you discover that BTC breaks this resistance and you see BTC at 39,000. You should start buying those small small coins you should start buying them because the uh, it has successfully uh, broken from a resistance point that is we are expecting a bullish run so this month is going to decide uh, a couple of days uh it's going to decide what we are going to do whether to buy or sell so as we watch if this price was able to break this this re resistance and you see the price at 39 that is where you start buying okay so that's what I'm seeing technically. Then if I should go down to confirm this, if I go down to one hour time frame, okay, you can see what has been happening, that this place is very strong. You can see the price keep, you know, testing and rejecting that uh, resistance line for you to see how strong that line is. So the price has to gather enough momentum to break above that resistance line. And another signal we, are, we have here, you can see here, you have a doji and indecision candlestick right there. And when this kind of candlestick form on a resistance, it's a bearish signal. And after that doji, we are seeing another candlestick here, which is the second one, the red candlestick right there, which is the shooting star. A shooting star is a pinba candlestick pattern, a bearish pinba candlestick pattern. And once you see this, that's the reason why the price is dropping. Okay, currently the price tested again the resistance point the second time, and we are expecting that the price we push down a bit to this trend line. Okay, so. For people who trade so as an investor you have to wait you will have to wait until this price breaks above resistance before we start buying so if you have any other uh, coins i want to buy i think what you need to do is to hold on for now once the price breaks above uh, uh 38 region and enter 39,000, that's the time or the perfect time i suggest according to technically now uh, the time we should start buying those coins okay so if you like this video already please start giving it a thumbs up you know leave a comment if you have any question on crypto and investing in crypto also forex trading uh, you already know if you have been in this channel i draw videos on forex trading so that is what i'm, I'm seeing btc doing we have taken the analysis from monthly time for the the, the uh, monthly time frame to four hour time frame to one hour time frame uh you know go deep daily time frame to see what we have and I have explained everything to you step by step so I believe by now you already know what to do that if you are investing you have to wait until there is a breakout of that level which is level 38,000 to 39 once it happens we now see a breakout then we enter start buying different coins or investing in different coins but for now we are expecting a little pull back down to this trend line to this uh, trend line right there okay so this is it this is it guys if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing turn on the notification bell to get notified each time i release a new video and i will see you guys in my next video bye for now guys